What's up guys, Josh here, back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel, where I do my best to help folks break into the IT field. And today I'm diving into something I know is on a lot of people's mind right now. And that's the recent dip in tech hiring. Now I'm always doing a lot of research and I ran across an article on CompTIA's website that reports that things slowed down in March. And it's got folks wondering, yo, is this a red flag? So what I'm gonna do is break down exactly what's going on in the tech job market, what the numbers are really saying, why it's happening, and how you can move smarter, not scared. And yeah, I'll be real with you, it's not all bad. In fact, there's still opportunity everywhere if you know where to look. Also, quick plug, if you're trying to boost your skills during this slow period, I've got something for you that's completely free. I dropped a full Linux Plus course right here on the channel. And if you want to support, it's also available on Udemy where I broke it up into sections for you to easily follow along. So no excuses, let's get it. All right, so let's break down this CompTIA report. And this article was released on April 4th and I just went through it and I wanted to point a couple things out to you guys. Now, for those who don't know, CompTIA is a major player in IT certifications. I'm talking A+, Security+, Plus, Linux+, Plus, Network+, Plus, and all the certs that get you into the door. And each month they pull data from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics and jobs platform like Lightcast to analyze hiring trends. And here's what March 2025 looked like. There was 8,428 jobs lost from tech companies directly, and then 29,000 total tech jobs lost across our industries. But the tech unemployment rate dropped to 3.1, still better than the national average of 4.2%. Sounds wild, right? Job losses and unemployment going down. That's because people are shifting maybe into new roles, freelancing, reskilling, or even starting their own business. And on top of that, new postings were up slightly with 213,000 new listings, totaling nearly 478,000 active job posts. And so that tells me employers still need us. They're just being a little more careful with how they hire. So let's talk about what's behind the slowdown. The big one is the economic uncertainty. Companies are dealing with rising costs, global supply chain issues, shifts in government policy, dare I say tariffs, AI investment pulling money from traditional roles. And in plain terms, employers are like, let's hit pause before we bring on more people. But that doesn't mean they're done hiring forever. In fact, some of them are reallocating resources, putting more budget towards AI initiatives, automation, cybersecurity tools, and infrastructure upgrades. Translation, they're not cutting jobs because tech is dying. They're just pivoting where the talent goes. And if you're following where the demand is moving, you'll always have options. Now let's talk about what's still in demand because it ain't all layoffs and budget freezes. The current top job roles hiring right now are software engineers, cybersecurity analysts, system engineers, cloud architects, AI engineers, and then tech support and desktop support. Now, AI related roles make up 21% of all tech posting last month. And so that's one in five jobs asking for AI skills. So even basic Python or prompt engineering gives you a solid entry point into that space. And guess what? Half of all tech job listings didn't even require a four year degree. That's right, no 60K student debt required. Now, one of the important things is where is this demand? Now, the top three states with job growth are California, North Carolina, and Washington State. Now, the top three metro areas is Seattle, San Francisco, and San Jose. And the places that have the most total jobs is NYC, DC, and Dallas. And this goes to a point that I always make. Sometimes you have to move to a different location to explore other opportunities that tie into what you wanna do in the job world. Now also remote is not over. I'm telling you, the world is your oyster. So keep applying to all those jobs no matter where they are. All right, so let's talk about strategy. How you can keep leveling up even if companies are in a hiring freeze. One of the things I always say is scale up with free resources that are out there. And that's essentially why I dropped that Linux Plus course on the channel. I didn't want to put it behind a paywall. I wanted people to get access to that free resource. 
But in that course, you can learn the command line, system management, users and permissions, everything employees are looking for. Now, another thing you wanna do is get certified. So A plus and Linux plus, great if you're just starting out. From there, move into Network Plus, Security Plus, and Cloud Certs like AWS and Azure. And also document your work. Make sure you start a GitHub repo, a blog, or a portfolio website. Show employees your skills in action. And one of the things I heavily push is making sure you build up a network. And that could be anything from jumping into tech forums, Discord servers, or even local tech meetups. Community is everything. And look, I've been through these tech roller coasters before, whether it was during the 2008 crash or the pandemic hiring freeze. Each time people thought tech was done, but each time it evolved and the people who stuck with it, they leveled up. They switched roles, they moved into cybersecurity, automation, or even content creation. And so if these people can do it, so can you. And that's why this channel actually exists. Now, I wanna hear from you. Are you job hunting in this climate? Are you pivoting your skills? What are you learning right now? Drop it in the comments. And we've got a solid community here that lifts each other up. So no gatekeeping, just knowledge sharing and growth. And if you finish my Linux Plus course, let me know how it helped or what you want to see next. And maybe I'll work on a free Network Plus or Security Plus series, we'll see. But thanks for kicking it with me today and breaking down the tech hiring slowdown. Remember, this isn't the end of opportunities. It's just the beginning of a shift. The key is staying ready, upskill, reskill, pivot, and most importantly, don't panic. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any gems I drop in the future. Until next time, stay safe, stay focused, and as always, keep it tech. Yo, what's up y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech. Wow. <laughs>